this. The fact that Scottsdale Unified District was until recently being led by a 28-year-old male attorney still living at home with his father who misused his mantle of trust as school board president to allow for a collection of minor school children's photos in his district to be warehoused on a personal computer or G drive that he had access to, which also included such information as their family's dates of birth, property and tax records, license plate numbers, vehicle records, divorce proceedings, criminal histories, financial records, mortgage records, and not least surveillance footage garnished from hidden cameras is nothing short of horrifying. Greenberg was elected to represent the families in this district, not to allow for the warehousing of a KGB-style dossier on drive C had access to. What we the people want to know, and what you as an entire school board should be asking, is whether this little goat rope was funded by taxpayer dollars or school money, monies, because this goat rope is something that Senator Joe McCarthy would have blushed about, and probably Hitler's Gestapo would have applauded. Further, why in the heck is he still sitting on this board after this came to light? And by the way, who is bonding Mr. Greenberg? Surety bonds for elected officials exist to ensure the elected official uh, carries out their duties with integrity and fidelity. Pictures of little eight-year-old girls and 10-year-old girls being warehoused on a G drive he had access to in his own, is that how he executes his public duties with fidelity and integrity? There is one reason and only one reason I can think of that a 28-year-old man would have eight and 10-year-old photos of children in this district on a G-Drive he had access to. And let me tell you, friends, it has nothing to do with integrity or fidelity. If I were a bond company, I wouldn't touch this man with a 10-foot pole and neither should you. Hi, my name is Nikki Klan, and I'm holding in my hand the agreement that you recently signed in order to obtain $30 million in ESSER funds from the federal government. You've agreed, to, you've agreed to enforce strict mask policies, strict contact tracing policies, free vaccination clinics for teachers and students, and you've agreed to bring in federally funded social workers to enforce this agenda. Since receiving these funds, the teachers have been encouraging our children to take vaccinations and that their age of consent is five years old. Really? Since when are any of these teachers in the school district qualified to give medical advice to children? And since when in the history of our great nation have you ever wanted to take on that liability? And who is liability if one single child dies of a vaccine? Due to this very unfortunate circumstance, I stand before you today with a letter of intent to file a claim against your surety bond. Please be advised that you will be personally liable for up to $100,000 per claim, and I have 10 claims. If you do not resolve the following issues within the next five business days. Number one, Jan Michael B. Greenberg needs to resign. Re number two, remove all masking and testing requirements both on and off campus. Stop recommending them entirely. Number three, close down any and all vaccine clinics to stop and stop recommending them to anyone. From this day forward, it will be the sole decision of the parents to make health-related decisions for their children. Number four, you must renegotiate all of your terms with regard to the most recent ESSER contract. Moving forward, every line item that you agree to must be voted on by all of the parents. You must provide us your books, because at number five, we will perform an audit with regards to school spending as well as the spending of these ESSER funds over the past two years. And number six, you must, and I mean you must, remove all the books in the school libraries or curriculum that promote pedophilia, underage sex, abortion, or any other unacceptable forms of sexual influence upon our children. During every communist regime takeover in the country, in the history of our world, they've always used these programs to divide. Thank you for wrapping it up. I'm sorry, you're not allowed to give them I'm just serving them. You are not allowed to serve in the yeah, public. I must serve them public. You are not to take that. now indoctrinating our children with transsexual propaganda and teaching them to be racist against white people by teaching racist Biden's critical racist theory. I'm not white myself, but I've dealt with ra racism and understand how dangerous and misguided it is to teach our children to be racist. 
teaching our vulnerable children to be racist and indoctrinating them with transsexual propaganda was not the intent of our founding fathers when they fought and sacrificed for our freedoms so many years ago. The communist creeps at our school boards are now taking our parental rights away by teaching our children that they can be vaccinated without parental consent. This is a blatant destruction of the family unit with the goal of undermining our society from the ground up. Communism must not take hold. We must never comply with communist policies. I am Ron Watkins, running for Congress in Arizona's district number two. When I am elected to office, I will be introducing legislation to stop the communist creeps at school boards around our beautiful state and country from enacting unconstitutional, tyrannical, liberty-destroying, anti-God policies. Without God, we have tyranny, and the tyranny can be seen right here and right now with the insane policies these creepy communist school boards are trying to enforce. I hereby give notice of my intent to file a claim against the bonds of this school board for enforcing unconstitutional policies Sir, against our children. To sit down. If the school board does not immediately cease Sir, to desist with their unconstitutional policies, I intend to file a bond claim in five business days. Thank you very much and God bless.